Hello, and welcome back to Winair Video for your August 2025 mega update on the Gordie Howe International Bridge. I'm Bob Jones, and over the next few minutes, we're diving deep into all things about the Gordie Howe Bridge, the current construction status, the pulse on the grand opening, American and Canadian perspectives, political drama, job opportunities, the all-new Trump-era tariffs, and what lies ahead for this $6.4 billion engineering marvel. Let's start with the big question. Will the bridge be finished on time? As of August 1st, 2025, the answer is a resounding yes, but with a few asterisks. The bridge itself is about 98% complete. Major construction on the iconic towers in the main span is finished. An enormous achievement considering the technical challenges and supply chain woes. Over the past few months, crews have been working around the clock on final touches, dismantling those famous tower cranes, paving the lanes for cars and trucks, tightening the last of the massive support cables, and finalizing the pedestrian and cyclist pathways. Inside the border inspection buildings, on both sides of the river, crews are busy installing desks, computers, lighting systems, and all that behind the scenes tech that keeps a modern crossing safe and efficient. Landscaping has ramped up in earnest, with teams planting thousands of native trees and shrubs, laying sod, and installing benches and public art to beautify the plazas. But the finishing process is as critical as the bridge build itself. Electricians, painters, safety engineers, and IT specialists are on site daily, making sure that the bridge not only stands tall, but performs flawlessly from day one. When it comes to construction mega projects, a 98% completion rate should mean you're almost there. The goal remains to wrap up construction by the end of September 2025, just before the unpredictable fall weather truly hits the Great Lakes. Both the Canadian and American construction teams are pushing hard to deliver on that promise. The American side, including its new port of entry, custom areas, and commercial vehicle inspection bays, made up some lost ground in the spring and is now essentially keeping pace with the Canadian schedule. Importantly, officials on both sides still project an official opening in fall 2025. But, and there's always a but in projects of this scope, recent delays in handing over border facilities for federal staffing training have many wondering if the public opening could slip into the winter or even early 2026. We'll talk more about those potential delays, what needs to be done, and how it affects bridge users in a moment. Before we begin, I would like to ask for your subscription. These videos do take time and money to produce. By subscribing, you help the channel reach more like-minded people. It is free and helps with the little advertising commission Winair Video receives. To support the cost, our community will have to grow to 20,000 subscribers or more. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. It means a lot and I really do appreciate it. Here's a quick breakdown of what's left. Interior fit-ups. Finalizing custom officer booths. Security checkpoints meeting rooms, cafeteria spaces, and restrooms. Technology testing. All inspection lanes, x-ray scanners, radio frequency identification or RFID toll collection, and safety alarm systems are being calibrated for go-live reliability. Operational simulations. Before opening, both the CBSA and the U.S. Customs run live drills, emergency responses, traffic simulation, and even mock security incidents. Contractor handoffs. All systems must pass strict regulatory inspections 
and be formally handed to the government for operational readiness. Staff training. Hundreds of new employees, border agents, inspection techs, maintenance crews, must be fully trained for their new roles. The finishing touches may not seem as dramatic as hoisting steel, but it's these details that decide how smooth and secure the crossing will be for millions of annual travelers. Will the bridge be painted? Now, about those iconic bridge towers. The big question recently has been, will they be painted or left as is? As of August 2nd, 2025, the most current and authoritative information indicates that the towers of the Gordie Howe International Bridge will remain as cast in place, reinforced concrete, and will not be painted. The iconic inverted Y-shaped towers, completed to their final height in 2024, are constructed from reinforced concrete for both engineering and aesthetic purposes and are designed to showcase that material as their final surface. Have they announced the official opening date? As of today, no public date has been announced for the bridge's first open day. Officials maintain that the fall 2025 window is the target, with a formal announcement promised once final safety checks are complete and cross-border agencies are 100% ready. Watch this space. The opening day will be a historic event, featuring government dignitaries, ribbon cutting, and, no doubt, wall-to-wall -wall media coverage. What about toll fees? Here's another hot topic. Tolls. Despite widespread speculation, the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority and their American counterparts have not yet announced exact toll rates. What we do know Tolling will be fully electronic, no cash lanes, just RFID, license plate recognition, and automatic billing. Rates will likely be competitive with the Ambassador Bridge and the Detroit-Windsor Tunnel. Special rates may be offered for frequent commuters and commercial fleets. Pedestrians and cyclists will cross free of charge using the dedicated multi-use path. Final rates and account options should be released closer to the opening date, likely this fall. Are they still hiring? Yes. The Canadian Border Services Agency continues to hire throughout August and September. They're onboarding up to 200 new border officers and support staff, with focus on candidates from Windsor, Essex County and other local communities. The bridge will also need ongoing maintenance techs, security officers, and customer service personnel. On the American side, U.S. Customs and Border Protection has wrapped up most of its hiring push, but expects ongoing seasonal and part-time needs as traffic picks up. Do you want to work at Canada's busiest and most advanced border crossing? Visit the CBSA or Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority websites to apply today. Economic and Political Shocks President Trump has imposed a 35% tariff on Canadian exports that fall outside of the Kuzma USMCA free trade deal. Many products, everything from steel and auto parts to maple syrup, now face steeper barriers heading south. What does this mean for the Gordie Howe Bridge and its future? Truck traffic carrying non-CUSMA goods has slowed by about 10% over the last year. Warehouses, freight yards and logistic companies in both Windsor and Detroit are feeling the pinch as shipping costs and delays mount. Manufacturers and exporters are raising alarms. Some have already shifted to alternative routes, while others may pause cross-border operations altogether if tariffs remain. The bridge's business plan was based on robust commercial truck traffic. If tariffs dampen trade, this new crossing could face revenue shortfalls in its first 
crucial years. There's widespread anger and frustration. Canadian leaders call the tariffs unfair and harmful, disrupting decades of successful cross-border trade. Protests have been seen outside Parliament and at City Halls in Ontario. Local business owners fear for their exports and warn of job losses if the trade standoff drags on. In the U.S., public opinion is divided. Some support the tariffs, arguing they protect American jobs or level the playing field on manufacturing costs. In Michigan and Ohio, however, auto parts suppliers and farmers worry about retaliation from Canada and rising costs at home. Both sides agree the bridge's potential to foster deeper ties is being tested just as it nears completion. While politicians wage a trade battle, everyday workers, business owners, and border towns are left uncertain about what comes next. Is the bridge's viability in danger? Let's be clear. The Gordie Howe Bridge was designed to strengthen binational trade and travel for the next century. Even with tariffs, CUSMA protected goods, think autos, agriculture products can still move freely. The bridge also provides much needed redundancy for commercial and emergency vehicles if old crossings close or become congested. But if tariffs persist, the originally forecasted volume of trade and revenue for the bridge could fall short in the short term. This would affect repayment plans for Canada's $6.4 billion investment and possibly slow down planned improvements or expansions on both sides. No project of this scale is without controversy. Earlier this year, delays in the handover of customs and border facilities linked to construction labor shortages and regulatory hiccups drew criticism from politicians and local media. While these issues have nearly been resolved, key regulatory inspections in September will determine if the September 2025 goal can be met or if the opening slips into late fall or winter. There's also pressure on both national governments to deliver a seamless launch. Any hiccup, say computer glitches or missed safety checks, could lead to high profile postponements. Rest assured, we'll be following every twist and turn in bringing you the facts, not just the headlines. Over the next two months, we can expect completion of system integration and final inspections, announcements of toll rates and commuter benefits, a detailed safety assessment by both the CBSA and U.S. Customs, an official ribbon-cutting date and public opening celebration, ongoing coverage on tariffs, cross-border traffic, and hiring news. So will the Gordie Howe International Bridge open as scheduled? For now, the answer is almost certainly barring late surprises. Will it transform Windsor, Detroit trade and travel? Without a doubt, even if the tariffs dampen immediate prospects. Will this project help connect two nations despite political turbulence? We certainly hope so. This bridge is more than steel and concrete. It's a symbol of international cooperation, technological achievement, and power of local communities coming together. What do you think? Are you excited for the grand opening? Worried about raising tariffs and trade disputes? Has the Bridges promise changed for you in light of recent news? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss an update. For ongoing coverage, interviews and drone footage, and expert analysis, stay tuned right here. Thanks for watching. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.